So we're going to look at how to subtract integers using a number line. And to start off, we're just going to use whole numbers and a relatively simple problem to see how this works. So if we look at the question, how, what is a five subtract two equal to? The way that we're going to do this is by rewriting this as an addition question. So instead asking what number plus two is equal to five? and representing that on the number line. So uh, number two, uh, we start there, and that's on the number line here. And five is on the number line here. And our answer, visually, is just the distance from two to five. So we go from two to five, and that's positive three. So our answer is positive three. And it turns out that this can be used for just about every integer subtraction problem. So let's try a different problem. Let's try something that might have a negative answer. So let's try what is negative five subtract two. And so if we use the same idea, instead we wanna write this as an addition problem and we ask what number plus two is equal to negative five. So once again, we put our values on the number line and we have uh, our two right here and we have negative five right here. And how do we get from two to negative five? We go to the left, as it turns out, we go to the left Seven spot and so our answer is negative seven all right let's try a slightly different problem so often students have difficulty conceptualizing the idea of subtracting a negative and so let's use some of the same values and ask the question what is positive five subtract negative two once again we ask the question what number plus negative two is equal to five. And so once again, we put our numbers on the number line. Here is negative two, here is five. And we draw an arrow from negative two to five to get our answer. And so that answer in this case is positive seven. And finally, let's do one of a negative, subtract a negative. So finally, we ask, what is negative 5, subtract negative 2. And once again, we start by rearranging this as an addition problem and ask, what number plus negative 2 is equal to negative 5? And so we put our negative two on the number line. We put our negative five on the number line. And we draw an arrow from the negative two to the negative five. And get an answer of negative three. So every subtraction problem can be rearranged as an addition problem and then the answer quickly found by putting those numbers on a number line and drawing the arrow from the number you subtract to the number that you start with.